Hey everybody, welcome back. Okay, so the dramatic title. Gangs of children are terrorizing the country because there's no school. What the hell am I talking about? Well, if you live in an inner city, if you live in an urban area, a major metropolitan area, or a surrounding suburb, you probably know what I'm talking about because there are bands of children, unminded, unwatched, and unwashed, uh, roving around in packs causing havoc. All across the country and I've got a couple of video clips one is from somebody I actually know who sent this to me there in Long Island and there were at a CrossFit gym and they posted this video and it's gone viral actually and I'm gonna show this clip and another one that uh, somebody sent to me from California that's at a Walgreens a group of 16 adolescent and teenagers looting a Walgreens just out of nowhere, they flash mobbed to Walgreens and ripped it down. Um, this is a new old problem. And what I mean by that is, this is something that this country has seen before. And it's actually the reason why public schools were put into effect in the first place. It was not to give your children education. It was to round them up. If you And most of you, I, I doubt there's anybody watching who's old enough to remember when this was actually happening. But if you watch old films, or if you remember the Our Gang, The Little Rascals, gangs of kids running around that really happened and truancy officers whose job it was to snatch kids and and kick their butts and drag them to a school and get them registered that really used to happen at the turn of the last century because of industrialization you had two major problems and i'm going to show you these clips in a minute but i just want to round this off so you understand where i'm coming from two major problems which is why public school became mandatory number one as men dying in war leaving single-family households. You had uh, the Civil War and the Spanish-American War and then the uh, and then the World War I primarily. You know, one after the other, a lot of men die, leaving a mother alone, she has to work, and kids home all day alone, latchkey kids. So you end up with uh, gangs of children. Also industrialization uh, led to this because even if there was two parents, they probably both had to work and they were in factories all day long. So what do you do? You leave your kid at home. You don't know what the hell he's doing. Gangs of kids from five all the way up to working age running the streets, uh, starting fires, breaking windows, mugging people, causing all kinds of hell. And public school was initiated basically as a glorified babysitting platform. But how do you sell this to parents? Hey, we're going to take your kids away all day. Uh, how do you make that work? You offer them a free education. You get it? Uh, now they, and I'm not a fan of public school by any means because that public school where what they were trying to teach the kids, the basics, reading, writing, and arithmetic, has transformed into political and social programming as opposed to the kids don't learn anything but trivia and bullshit in school now. And they learn about drag queens and useless nonsense instead of what they actually need to get on in life. It's, you know, from where school was when I was a kid to where it is now, you don't even recognize it. It's a disaster. But they still serve the purpose of keeping all those children contained somewhere all day. And what happens when you take that away because, oh, the virus, we can't send the kids to school. We want to do it online. They can sit in front of the computer all day. Sure, they can log in and take off, and you don't know where the hell they are. This is what happens. Take a look at this. This is Long Island at a CrossFit gym. People at a gym. The cops told them to leave. They're not leaving. And none of them have masks on. The cops told them to leave, and here they are. They threw a barbell at my husband. They're not leaving. They're harassing the gym owner. I've never called my Are you fucking serious? That's assault, you no! Hey! Don't do it! Carl! Carl, don't do it! Don't do it! Hey, I'll give it to you! Go home! Go home! Go home! No! Go home! You won't. 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 You won't.
Seriously? Yeah. Wow. Good job, guys. Way to show up.
And there you go. I know that was a bit long, but you get just to get the basic idea. And according to the person who ran this video, that was the second time they were out there that day. They were lined up all through the alley and all around the side. They were smoking weed. You saw how young some of those kids were. There was hardly a teenager in the bunch. Some of those kids were very young. They were adolescents. Smoking weed, yelling obscenities, throwing things. And the police had already been there and run them off. The police came again, as you saw at the end of the video, when the squad car pulled up, they all scattered because they're cowards. And then um, the, the officers told them, listen, we've been chasing gangs of kids all over town for weeks. Why do you think this is? And, and parents are going to sit there and say, oh, God, we're the parents minding these kids. They're the same place they always were, but there's no public school to babysit them now. And, by, and for that matter, where are your kids? Because half the people criticizing, they can't control their children either. And it should be controlled at home. But the way society has worked itself up, the, the position that people have allowed themselves to get into, that's just not possible anymore. It's not possible in modern society. I recommend coffee for your troubles. Coffee. So what the hell are you going to do? You have no choice but to round them up and get them back into public school or else this is going to keep happening. Let's take a look at the clip of the Walgreens. It's much shorter. <laughs> Look how they charge a break. Since they didn't have weapons, they come right away. Okay, 15 of them. I don't know. I I don't know. I don't know. Test get away, la test. Don't stay there, test. Test just get away. And there you go. And you saw in the Walgreens even, the employees, they couldn't do much else but film it and wait for the police. By the time the police get there, they're gone. And if the police do show up, what the hell are they going to do? Like the uh, previous video in Long Island. And there is hundreds of videos like this on Facebook and on YouTube. You can look them up for yourself. I'm just showing you a couple. Uh, what are the police going to do? They're minors. Chase them off. And they come back. Uh, they arrest them. And if they did arrest them, if it was serious enough, they'd be out by the end of the day and back doing what they were doing again because there's no consequences. What the hell are these people going to do? You know, at least back when this was a problem in, because you didn't see this really in small towns back in the day, but back 100 years ago when this was going on in major cities across the United States, you had the advantage of the fact that you could whip the, the tar out of, out of some kid if he was giving you a hard time. You were a shop owner and they came and flash mobbed and tried to rob your store. You could chase them out with a club and beat the piss out of them. And they're probably not going to come back. But you can't touch these kids now. And they know it. You saw, you saw how bold some of those kids were in, in the first video. Getting up in a grown men's faces like they were going to do. Come on, hit me, I dare you. Yeah, fat punk seriously and you know what'll happen if he touches him he'll fall out crying like a little bitch and scream and yell and then that guy will go to jail for assault on a minor that's the problem I mean, if you're gonna take away the ability to punish these children if you're not gonna 
to, to discipline them. And if you're not going to allow parents to discipline them and you're not going to allow citizens to defend themselves, what the hell do you expect? What do you expect is going to happen? You know, and it's going to keep getting worse. It's going to keep getting worse until someone d does something about it. And I'm not talking about just making more laws and regulations. You, you, uh, public school has been allowed to mind these kids for too long already. They've done a terrible job. They've turned um, an excuse to babysit them, education, into a platform for political and social programming. And now they don't even have that. And now they're running around all over the place, causing mischief, causing problems. You want to do something about it? Take away the restrictions of the average citizen's of ability to defend themselves. You know what I would have loved to have seen? I would have loved to have seen someone come out of that gym with a uh, paintball gun full of pepper balls and just spray the hell out of them. I guarantee you they'd never hang out on that corner again. But you can't do it. You can't do it. And please don't tell me, oh, they're just kids. Do you not remember when you were a teenager or an adolescent and how bad you were sometimes? It's worse now. It's worse now because there's no consequences at all. None. Have you seen this? Have you been seeing this in your area? Or, you know, what do you think? Have you seen any other videos on the subject? Tell me what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you get where I'm coming from. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you're new. All that good stuff. Uh, if you wanted to help the channel out, there are links for that down below. Every little bit does help, and I really do appreciate it. And what more can I say? Do you know where your children are, America? Man, I hope so. I really hope that ultimately you take the responsibility for your own children if you're watching. And don't just leave it on someone else. And don't just... Because parenting, and that's a whole other topic of discussion, but parenting has just really fallen apart. We get generation after generation of parents raising children who weren't raised themselves in the first place and don't know what to do. And it sucks. But what more can I say but stay tuned, folks, because there is more to come.